course, like the, all the diligent programs uh, and departments in this campus, we are very much aligned with the strategic plan and wanted to contribute to that. So that is one of our goals to help uh, in you know, graduation, retention, etc. But it also very much aligns with my passion. Um, I go out in the community, uh, community colleges, as well as I, I'm also involved in one of the healthcare uh, opportunities uh, program in CSU Fullerton, in uh, trying to educate or, or inform um, students, high school students and community college students who are interested in allied health. That's the reason why my course that I proposed is really an introduction to allied, allied health professions. Um, the title is actually, I can't remember now. It's Path to an Allied Health Profession Roadmap to Clinical Practice. So it was really, I was really excited as early as um, the time I, I proposed it. And then it got accepted. And then I realized I haven't taught freshmen before. <laughs> And so that's when I'm like, is there something different? I've always taught in a graduate program, uh, maybe once or twice in my 18 years of teaching that I had like seniors. Uh, other than that, it's always uh, graduate students. But I think it also made me grow as an instructor because it opened me up to be a bit creative and open and be more receptive to how my students would be. And so, um, this is how I implemented my class. It, you know, how I embedded critical thinking is that, um, for instance, I had ethical dilemmas of, of, of clinical practice, and I put them in groups, and they would debate their points, you know? So it made them, in the beginning, in the first few weeks of my class, I, I experienced that, that they were kind of shy in the, you know, uh, sharing their points. But uh, when they're in groups, and they're trying to like make their point, they're, they're sharing, and you know uh, that's been successful. Another aspect that I was able to do in this class is I was able to really collaborate with a lot of folks because I invited. Um, I had the chair of clinical science talk about you know uh, their practice, uh, uh, a physical therapist who's the chair of pre uh, pre PT in our in our college, uh, someone from nursing, someone from social work. Um, so I had probably like seven of uh, speech pathology. I had seven or eight other faculty members, chairs, program directors, who really shared um, what their programs are about and what their practice is about. In addition to that, I had a couple of activities that had peer mentoring um, activities. So I had graduate students come in, partner up with uh, uh, my, my students, and some of my Peer mentors are actually here, wave to be recognized, and they're, of course, from my department. <laughs> they're, they're my occupational therapy uh, students. And so that kind of that um, allowed me to have that collaborative feel in my class. Um, overall, I think what I want to really share or impart, uh, I didn't really want to know what to, what to point at. Um, and what I want to talk about. In retrospect, you know, last week I was in Chicago uh, to our national conference. And I had the opportunity, and in, in instances like that, you have the opportunity to talk to your grads, alumni, students, current students. And they talk about how they were in our OT program. I, I have a Master of Science in Occupational Therapy program. And we have a cohorted program. And so as much as they are appreciative of their academic experience and you know uh, what they learned in in the in the program they talked a lot about their daily experiences with their peers etc how they work together towards you know succeeding um, in a lot of the, the task and we have because we have a cohorted program so in looking back now because of that collaboration that I experienced in my class, it seems to me that, you know, this is a great opportunity. It's a great, op it's a first step to our opportunity for a collective um, effort in trying to create that, and I'll use the word, I don't, I don't really hear that word much in the past few years, but I still believe that Cal State Dominguez Hills is that community. 
that really is a, an important aspect to student success, more than the academic and, and whoever instructor, it's that faculty, students, and context that really allows them to belong, you know, and, and reach out and see not just, like in me, I had the opportunity for, for them to see not just a degree, but who they can be. May it be an occupational therapist or a social worker. So I had a great experience. Uh, hopefully I can teach it again. Um, sure. <laughs>